Hello, hello everybody. Hope you guys are doing great as always. This is the last video from this semester. Okay, hopefully you can understand most of the most of the things that I want to say today. Okay, first of all, you know, I want to tell you a little bit about how you can improve your skills in the way how you learn your English. It's important to understand when you want to improve your English skills, you have to practice every day. Okay? Just to tell you that, you know, a few years ago, I don't really speak that much English, even though I don't do perfectly right now, but at least I try every day to speak. The reason is quite simple. The reason is because I have a commitment. I have a goal to achieve. And that's the reason that I just trying to improve every time that I can. When I see somebody in the street or I see some people around me, I try and if I figure it out that they speak English, I try to talk to them. Okay, I'm trying to speak to them because it's my way to practice. Hopefully, you know, we have more time to practice. And later on in the future, you're going to keep following this channel on YouTube in a step to improve your own English. The reason is because if you don't practice every day, if you're looking for make a research for new information, it's kind of hard to understand most of the language or the skills. You know, when we are in need, to get a job, when we are in need to improve ourselves as a humans. It's in the time that we encourage ourselves to do that. So it's important for you to find your main goal, trying to find what exactly is important for you in a step to improve your English skills. The reason that I'm telling you right now this is because I want you to improve your English skills and in the future, we can have nice conversations. Actually, English is will be open our entire world it's going to give you opportunities for work. It's going to meet, meet new people. You can get, you know, like a very easy results and information that is quite important nowadays. The reason is because the internet is full of information. But if you want to really learn, you have to keep practicing every after day. Okay? The reason that sometimes people don't achieve this goal, I think, in my perception, is because they are kind of little, not lazy, but normally they don't give enough importance to the skills of the language, okay? Uh, one, of my win one of my hinders was that sometimes, you know, I'm trying to, to, to do something or trying to practice the language, but I skip that. I do something else. But every time that I have English chances to practice now, I do. In the past, I didn't. I didn't at all because I don't really want to be that close to the language. Okay, remember you have to make an effort to change things, you know. You have to make the effort to change something that you are not doing. Trying to find the time and then you can get it for sure. What I became more uh, productive in the language because I find more different topics or things that I really like. You know, when you find something that you really like, for sure it's more easy to talk about it, you know. And for sure you don't find the proper and the right words to explain other people. Actually, I love to teach. I really love the language. I really love to improve people's life. But it is, you know, a step to give up sometimes, I encourage you to go over and over, okay? People around you, it's gonna make a big change on your life. So that means be surrounded by people who normally encourage you to keep learning and practicing and doing the best, okay? I have five questions. Why I was lazy? Why I was so lazy? Why? I don't want to try. What was my hinder to get my goal? Why I made an effort to change it? Why I become more productive in the language? How people around me change my life perspective from the language, okay? Thank you so much. I will see you around. Practice a little bit. And remember, we have the same conversation this evening or this afternoon during the class, okay? See you, bye.